Keeping an eye on Tesla this morning, the company dealing with an escalating strike by a group of Swedish unions with Elon Musk branding the fallout as, quote, insane. Christmas has come a month early. I wonder why. So let's get to it. Tesla stock sitting at 235.70 after the short day on Friday, slightly up for the day and in the after hours as well. A lot of volatile sideways movement as Tesla is up only 1% for the week. And if you go back three months, Tesla is still up only about 2% with insane volatility in between. Year to date, Tesla is about 1% away from being up over 100%. But is Tesla facing some headwinds in the months to come? Or will there be unmistakable tailwinds that overshadow any fear, uncertainty, and doubt? Keeping an eye on Tesla this morning, the company dealing with an escalating strike by a group of Swedish unions with Elon Musk branding the fallout as, quote, insane. This comes amid mounting pressures on the EV maker as it faces a pricing war with EV competitors' shares moving higher by about seven tenths of a percent. You know, I think for Tesla, this is not perhaps the best time for any news around a strike to really ensue. Is there ever a good time for news like this to occur? But of course, there is no doubt they're going to try to spin this into the UAW success with the Detroit 3. Halfway across the world, is going to impact them here with the UAW in the United States. Please, I know this is where it's going. Let's get it over with. Especially considering the fact that they are in the sight, not just of some of the labor regulators that are overseas, uh, but also here in the US as well, uh, as that is the UAW's next target, as Sean Fain talked about. I do it. <laughs> How does the situation in Sweden relate to Sean Fade and the UAW here, who literally has no impact on the U.S. operations of Tesla? Why are we manufacturing stories here? Yeah, certainly we know that Tesla has been uh, facing some pressure here just in terms of their workforce and what we could exactly see play out here uh, over the coming months, given the UAW strike and how effective many, I think, would say that they were in terms of reaching more favorable pay benefits uh, for what the union was pushing for. In terms of what the strike means for Tesla. So the strike in Sweden right now, it affects seven repair shops with this expansion with postal workers now involved, dock workers, the list goes on. It's now totals about nine unions are part of the strike on Tesla. So it has started affecting Tesla operations within Sweden. We did hear from Elon Musk. He weighed in on X about this strike, calling it insane. Obviously, he's not happy with exactly what this means for Tesla over in Sweden and more specifically with the post workers now being part of the strike. The third, uh, now it has now prevented a Swedish transport agency from delivering license plates to new Tesla cars, which means that then Tesla cannot deliver the vehicle. So obviously having a real impact there. And this comes at a time when Tesla has been under a tremendous amount of pressure. We talk about the number of price cuts that have already taken place, the pressure that that has placed on margins, yes, in some way. The margin story. There is no doubt that some of the wages have to go up for Tesla workers due to the UAW strike being quite successful, mind you. And undoubtedly, there will be some impact to the margins. It will be relatively small potatoes considering they have industry leading margins. And the Tesla team's desire to reduce cogs by any means necessary is the defining difference between the Detroit 3's margins and Tesla's Battery margins. electric vehicles are relatively new when you're talking about mass producing them, whereas the internal combustion engine, that's at the end of line when you're talking about innovation and the ability to reduce costs. But we're a far cry from saying that the UAW will add Tesla to its rank. It has been a boost for demand, which Many analysts, I think, would agree is short-term pain for long-term gain. But that short-term pain, especially when you're facing work stoppage or any sort of pushback here from union workers overseas, the potential that that could then trickle here into the U.S. is just another headwind that Musk needs to keep on his radar. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the other things to track continuously with this as well is where this perhaps permeates into other areas in Europe, particularly I think about that Brandenburg, Berlin Brandenburg factory. That is the first gigafactory that they brought 
online in Europe, and they really prioritize manufacturing hundreds of thousands of Model Y vehicles and their battery cells there. And that, that is going to be a huge footprint in order for them to be, be able to deliver into other parts of the European region and, and member countries. Now, all of that said, we've been in the midst of the year of some of the most tense labor negotiations across healthcare, across entertainment, and across autos as well. And that's why for Tesla to continue to be within this uh, conversation, or at least in the orbit of this conversation, could spell out something that investors have to watch as it could impact the margins, even as they have been in, uh, in well, imploring, or I should say, just rolling out a lot of those different pricing options and cutting the prices in order to make sure that more sales are, are done in this interim period of time. But those sales could come at a risk, especially if you do see successful labor negotiations and strikes move forward, which then move higher some of the costs to produce and then ultimately impact the margins that they're able to see at the end for each vehicle sold as well. All right, we will see. Tesla certainly has been uh, one of the winners this year, but has been uh, under some pressure here as we take into account all the pressure that margins have been under because yeah. of the price cuts that we've seen play out. As an investor, not too terribly concerned. I trust that the team over there at Tesla is willing to handle any hiccups. I mean, they've been versatile so far. What's a few angry Swedish unions gonna do compared to, I don't know, the crash of the late 2000s, the Model 3 ramp, a global pandemic? Yeah, I, I think Tesla's got this one. On some lighter news, Martin Vieca, Christmas has come a month early. I wonder why. Could it have anything to do with Tesla's version 12 of the FSD software? Update 2023.38.10 has been giving FSD version 12 to Tesla employees? Version 12, the nothing but net version of full self-driving. While Waymo and to a lesser extent Cruise utilize all of those extra sensors, LiDAR, radar, Tesla is going for a more human approach. Vision and neural nets. We all know the computational power of a computer is pretty amazing. And I imagine eight eyes are better than two. It only stands to reason that if we allow the computer to drive with superior vision, the computer will do a much better job. Huh. I don't know about you, but I know for damn sure it'll be better than me. I have version 11.4.4, and there's still some coding that needs to be done to make the car function the way we would like to see it on the road. But with version 12, all they're doing is sending video images to the computer. The computer internalizes those video images and pushes out what the car needs to be doing in this particular situation on the road. If you haven't checked out Elon Musk displaying that for the world to see, probably right here. Go ahead and do yourself a favor and check that out. In the meantime, I've got another 11.4.4 video for you just to show you the progress that this thing is making. pick up the wife from work. Let's see if FSD beta 11.4.4 can get us there safely. She ain't way too many uh. construction going on right there and it's a four-way stop with a stoplight above it sometimes the fsd beta gets confused is that a stoplight is it a stop sign i don't know there's something there that is confusing it does it real good right there though 
way too much lately yeah. See you out in town, yeah. you just walk past me yeah. But you will never catch me, never snap me going crazy yeah. If I'm hot out town, yeah, but snap me getting faded Cause I'm popular now, you can see it getting famous wow. And you want it all for you, you want it all for you, yeah Hottest I ever seen, yeah. it was like I'm in a dream you was always on my team, now you have self-esteem When you wake up every day, better so it like repeat And you want it all for you, you want it all for you, she yeah too many, uh, yeah <laughs> she want a good time, she, she had way too many, uh, Self-esteem. When you wake up every day, better so it like repeat. And you want it all for you, you want it all for you. Yeah. That was a pretty scary moment at night. As you can see, the computer wanted to go left, but then was like, nah, we supposed to keep straight. Something with the navigation and where it needs to go, not clicking right there. It was noticeable, but it wasn't enough to be like, ah, I should report it, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs>
so crazy Sun kissed by the color All the girls got the bodies Take a shot on the shorty How can we never figure First cars cause the baby Bad black keep it wavy So dark like I'm Hades Let me vibe with you, vibe with you Yeah, everybody's talking about us Let me ride with you, get high with you Yeah, everybody's talking about us We're gonna roll tonight We're gonna roll wants me to go around like through the community and pull back in whereas I could just take a left up here and get to my desired destination so I have a feeling that's something to do with the navigation intermingled with FSD beta but uh, we're here at our destination essentially it would have just probably taken an extra few more minutes to the doorstep of my wife's establishment <laughs> You heard what I said. Otherwise, that navigational error, it's a perfect drive. AI student driver FSD beta 11.4.4 gets us to the destination safely and more importantly, without intervention. In conclusion, angry Swedish unions are making their presence felt, impacting Tesla's business over there in Europe in some pretty strange ways. On the bright side, FSD version 12 is being rolled out to Tesla employees. With any luck, it won't be long now before the OG FSD beta testers of YouTube get this bill. Is this the FSD answer that we've been looking for? I'm not gonna lie, your boy's kind of excited. In the meantime, FSD Beta 11.4.4 is punching above its weight, getting us to destinations damn near flawlessly. I can't wait for version 12 to be pushed mainstream. It should be all she wrote, folks. Well, that's all I got for you today. Be easy. Er